when patients come to Castle Craig, um, eight times out of ten they'll need detoxification. This involves um, history taking, examining, examination and close monitoring by uh, medical and nursing staff. Uh, this will be hourly uh, to begin with and then uh, four times a day um, within a few days and uh, maybe daily after, uh, after a week. What the patient will experience when they first come to Castle Craig is uh, a comprehensive period of assessment and that period of assessment is vital uh, to ensure that we provide the right treatment for the individual. So when a patient comes here, they won't be using any chemicals. And, and that's very difficult for a chemical dependent initially. And so those early stages need a lot of support, uh, a lot of counselling, and also a lot of support from the peers that surround them. Another chemical dependent talking to another chemical dependent is able to cut through a lot of the denial because they're able to see that themselves, because they've done that themselves, so they're able to confront. But they're also able not just to confront, but support and emphasize and empathize, because that is an essential ingredient, is that they have a support, and group therapy provides that. spine, if you like, of what we do here is provide psychoeducation. The experience of the chemical dependent for a long, long time is they don't know what's wrong with them. And we provide an awful lot of education and psychoeducation that tells them they're suffering from a disease. They're not suffering from a moral disorder. They're not bad people. They're ill people. And as such, that education provides relief, it provides direction, and it provides a solution. Because if they then know that they are suffering from a disease, they can do something about it. The 12 steps are a series of suggestions, okay, that allow us to recover from addiction. It's a synthesis of everything that's good about therapy that I've experienced before. It provides meaning and purpose in a person's life. It provides a structure. It provides a guide. And the great thing about the 12 steps, it's ongoing. And the very important thing about addictive disease, it doesn't end. It's an ongoing condition. And as such, the 12 steps takes the person through their life. And it is an ongoing resource for them. The problem with chemical dependency is that quite often people's eating habits are out of kilter. Some eat perhaps too much, some eat too little, but the body is stripped from its nutrients. And in order to get the, the, the complete package, we need to address all of these aspects. Gym and yoga allow the person to develop positive self-regard. The involvement of significant others in that patient's treatment is vital because they need to understand the disease, they need to understand what the problems are, because these people love this person, they don't know what's been going on. And the more they know and the more they're involved in the patient's treatment, the better the outcome for that patient. And it also allows them, when the patient goes back home, that they can be supportive, they know what to say, they know what to do, and they know what to do for themselves, because the effects of addiction and chemical dependency, unfortunately, 
have tentacles and they creep into the self-esteem of the, the whole family. So we're not just treating the patient, we're treating the family as well. Formulating the aftercare plan is a, an extremely important part of the, the whole treatment experience. And we must remember that they are individuals that we're treating here. It's not a one-size-fits-all treatment. When a patient leaves Castle Craig, it's not simply about them, bye-bye, thank you very much. We are here as an ongoing resource in that person's life. They're able to come and contact their therapist, they're able to talk about an issue, they're able to come to aftercare groups, they're able to come back for weekend retreats, they're able to come back for reunions. We want to know what's happening to those patients. We want to know what's happening in their lives because we care.